So that's the new water fountain from Bella. I'm Aiman, and today we're doing a quick first impression of this new water fountain by a Meow store that, that Anissa bought for us because she noticed that Bella liked to drink a lot from the toilet bowl in her bathroom. So she, we did some research and we found out that cats actually like to drink from running water rather than standing water. Um, something about it being safe and it probably, it's, it probably makes sense because in standing water you find a lot of mosquitoes and such. But anyway, and he said that it would be a good idea to get a fountain for Bella because she loves to drink water. All right, so as you can see, we already have the water fountain set up, but I'm going to show you how to set it up. Setup is pretty easy. So first thing I'm going to do is unplug it so that it stops running. And you just dump out all the water real quick. So we're going to take out these one by one. Oops, it's going to be a bit wet. That's all right, we'll clean it up. And lastly, this is the most important piece. Okay, now that I have this out, I can show you what the uh, what's behind the scenes. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's a wire running from this tower. So this tower, inside of it, is a pump. Let me just reach into that and grab it. Now, the reason I can't get to it is because there's a stopper on the top of it. The stopper is found in the box. So you might be, it might be easy to miss it, but if you look long enough, you might, you will find it. And if you don't find it, email support. So this stopper is to stop this, uh, this piping right here from sinking all the way to the bottom. Which, as you see, if I let go of it, you can't see the top of it anymore. So when we finally lift this up, you can see that we have access to the pipe and to the pump. So on the pump, there actually is a, a way to adjust it, but that's for a different video. Or you, you can always look online for it. Some of them also aren't adjustable. But this procedure is basically when you first get the box, you're going to open it up and you're going to get this pump separately, or it might be inside the tower. In either case, what you want to do is you want to take the wire and you want to unplug the wire from the socket. It's a bit dangerous to do this while my hands are wet, but that's all right. You want to loop the USB cord through this wide hole, and then you want to loop out the entire wire. Then what you want to do is you want to take the pump and you want to finagle it through to the top. When you do that, what you want to do is you want to take the stopper here, or not the stopper, but the small piece right here, that's more like the mouth of the pump. And you want to put it on top. Like I said before, this is going to stop it from falling all the way. The first thing you want to do is place the first tower. The first tower and the second tower go in the in opposite directions. They go on these nubs right here. And assuming that you have the, this is, this is the longer side and this is the wider side. You always want to make sure that your first tower and your second tower are on the either the bottom right or the top left. So this is the bottom right from where I'm standing. The wider part is facing you and the shorter part is facing to the side. Then you want to take your second tower. You want to place the ops to it, making sure that the mouth is feeding into the shorter tower. And then you want to take the last tower. And then you want to gently place it in there. Of course, because this is all ceramic, you want to make sure that you're gentle with all of this. Okay, and there we go. Now what you want to do is you want to take your plug, and dry it off. Okay, and plug it into the chart, the power supply. It's not really a power supply, but you know what I mean. And then plug it in. And what you want to do now is you want to put some water at the top. Hold on. You want to put some water at the top so that you can get rid of any trapped air that's in the pump. I need uh, some water. Hold on. <laughs> okay. And as you can see, slowly but surely, the water is coming out. 
it's gonna start out slow but as you can see it's starting to get a lot faster and the bubble at the top is getting a lot bigger and Bella is just getting all crazy thinking about all the water she's gonna drink look at that look at that fountain first it was <laughs> first it was a small little oh first it was a small little bump and now it was going crazy and now as you can see it's pretty level and now it looks just like a fountain and it sounds like a fountain okay so while i clean it up hopefully bella will start drinking from it <laughs> look there's, there's water wait don't like don't like me <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she, of course, uh, cats do have adjustment periods. They always like to be near things that have their scent. And since this is new in package, it probably doesn't have her scent, so she's probably not as used to it. Yeah, so it's hard to get cats or just pets in general to act when you want them to, or act the way that you want them to. Uh, hold that thought, never mind. Oh, okay, so Bella just stopped there because she got hit by the fountain again. Anyway, uh, we'll play. So our plan for this is to put it in the bathroom because even though we have water all the all around the house, like probably five different places, she still goes to the bathroom to the toilet bowl. <laughs> no, not the treats. No, actually, wait. If I if we put the treats here. Wait. Maybe I can bait her. <laughs> no! That did the opposite of what we wanted. But anyway, I guess that's pretty much all we have for this video. So I'm Ayman. That's Bella. And today I showed you this water fountain from Mir's Meow Store. We'll put it in the description down below if you want to check it out. Uh, though Anissa got it for us, so I'm not quite sure how much it costs. Yeah, I'm not sure if this has like an Amazon page. Uh, Anissa was telling me when she ordered this, she ordered this a month ago. And probably because of the pandemic, it took that long to get to her. Also, I think she said she ordered it, she got it from Europe. So that also probably factored into it. Though there probably are similar versions of it uh, online. So probably like on Etsy or Wish, you could probably get them. But we'll link the uh, one that we got from in the description down below. And finally, I just want to say this is really heavy. So you want to, you want to be careful when you're handling it. I don't want to move it right now because Bella's drinking it. But after she's done, I'll lift it up to show you. But anyway, I'm Ayman, this is Bella, and thanks for watching. Please like it, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I'm Ayman, especially the product, first reviews, and impressions, and I'll see you there. But for now, check out more videos of Bella, and I'll see you there. Signing out. Yeah. She has a bead of water on her nose. Hey, she likes it. Look at that majesticness. <laughs> Guess I can't show you how heavy it is. <laughs> Bella, what do you think? <laughs> You're such a good actor. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll show you. God. This is probably dangerous to do with the pump still running, but as you can see, my my even my my Hercules strength can't lift this up without feeling tense. But because it's ceramic, it's heavy. But anyway, that's all for now. Signing out. Yeah.
don't want to drink anymore. <laughs>